Hi, I'm Harry Bearden from Data Schools Cohort 23, and today I'll show you how to create bar charts with reference lines for targets. This is a very clear way to communicate to stakeholders how close they are to meeting targets. So start by opening up Sample Superstore in Tableau. Find Sales, and drop it on the columns. Find Region, and drop it on the rows. Let's change it from standard to entire view so we can see this a little bit more clearly. What we'd initially like to do is only return the sales for the current year. So create a new calculated field and call this current year. We want to write a boolean statement in here to only return the current year. So year of order date equals left mustachio max year order date, two brackets, and a right mustachio. Now that we've created this calculation, we can now drop it on the filters and select true. This will now only return the sales for the current year. What we'd also like to do is have reference lines on each of these bars for the prior year sales. So to do this, we first need to find the prior year sales. So go to our current year calculation and duplicate. Right click and edit and call this our prior year. All we need to do in here is add a minus one to the end as this will return the prior year to our latest year in our data set. Click OK. We now need to add on to this to find the sales. So create a new calculated field and call this our prior year sales. What we need to do here is a left mustachio fixed on region as that's our level of detail in the view. Sum, open bracket, if prior year, then sales and close bracket, right mustachio. Click OK and bring this into the detail. Right click our sales axis and add a reference line. Change it to Purcell and change the value from summer sales to prior year sales. We can turn the tooltip off and let's make a custom label. Let's call this prior year sales and then click the carrot and add in the value. Let's also make this line a little easier to see. So let's go down to formatting Find the line and make it black. The last thing we'd want to do here is change the colour of these bars depending on whether it was above or below the prior year sales. So to do this, create a new calculated field called this current year sales above or below. In here, we want to write sum of sales larger than the sum of prior year sales. Click OK and then drag this to colour. Edit the colours. Let's make true a blue and false a red to represent the positive and negatives. The last thing we can do here is just format our view a little bit. So right click and format. Add to lines in the format menu and remove grid lines and zero lines. We can also format our number currencies whilst we're here. So hold control, find prior year sales and sales, right click and go to default number properties and number format. Then head to currency custom, reduce the decimal places to zero, display the units in thousands and give it a prefix of pounds. We've now created our bars with target indicators. Thank you for watching this video. If it's been helpful, watch more related content here, such as a video on year to date versus prior year to date sales.